Here's part five of our conversation with Mike Levine of Triumph. But the guys in the band, uh, did it change what, who you were closest to? Was it always one person? I mean, you, you, you either have chemistry with someone or you don't. Well, who you had more, the, more chemistry with? Oh, it's weird, you know. Um, it's a good question. <laughs> uh, when I guess on a, on a business, from a business point of view, uh, Gil and I were very close on that. Yeah. Um, from a having fun and playing point of view, I think Rick and I were probably closer. And I was closer to Rick than I was to Gil because we were out front. He was back on a drum riser. Uh, who cares about him? You know, Rick and I had to entertain the audience. So we, you know, we were close that way. We were close at having fun. We're all close at having fun. But uh, on stage, you know, Rick and I had this bond that we had to have. Were, were you too busy doing it back then to, to realize that you were the guys? Because, we, you know, when I talk to people, again, I'll reference that, that I say, oh, you've come a long way. You've got this career. And Almost everyone says, well, yeah, but you're 20. When you're 20, you don't think about ever being 50 or 60 or 70. It doesn't occur to you. So were you too busy kind of doing it to, to realize what you were doing? Um, I don't know. That's a tough question to answer. Because uh, we were busy. There's no question about it. You know? it's, that was just came with the territory. Now, the more successful you get, the harder it gets. Right? Because you have to live up to your last record now, or you have to be better on tour, or you have to maybe there's more, more money, more pressures, right? Yeah, like the guys like you more, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, uh, but that's okay, right? Because you go, hey, you know, you laid the groundwork for this, this is what you worked for. So if you don't want it, you never should have started. To do it. You know, if you didn't want the success, you never should have started, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way I look at it. So you better live with the results of what you did. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. You know, you you know, you paid your dues to get to a certain place, and you bet you better learn to like it. You can't hate what you do. Yeah, I'm asking every Canadian musician I talk to, who are your favorite Canadian performers? Who who do you not necessarily now, but to, when I say favorite Canadian artists, what do you think of? Guess who? Um, yeah, but it's like I, I go back, you know, again, there were so many interesting bands in the early days that you never remember, you know, a band called the, the Mandela, uh, who used to be called the Five Rogues. We used to go watch them play and go, oh, man, those guys, Donnie Triano, amazing band, waiting for that. Yeah, and then yeah. got to know those guys. It was like peers with them, you know? And it's like, uh, it was amazing. You know, Donnie used to show up at his uh, at rehearsals I was having for him uh, and just jam, you know? And just like fun. And, and, and those guys were my idols. Yeah. So yeah. they're just normal people, really. For more information on the brand new Triumph documentary, go to the official Triumph webpage. There'll be links in the description of this video. And remember, support the channel, buy a Rock History Music, Rock History Book, Rock History Canada t-shirt, links also in the description. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bogan from Rock History Music.